Uh, my name's Tracy Stewart. I'm a Year 5 teacher at Elm Park Primary School in Hornchurch. We first started using LBQ with um, intervention groups for maths, with small groups, uh, with HLTAs or with a class teacher. And then we've rolled it out um, in the last year or so to uh, more classes. So uh, Key Stage 2 classes are using it uh, particularly for maths at the moment, but we're now trying to push it for English and for other subjects as well. I first started to see LBQ being used uh, when the children were home learning we could set a question set the children were able to log in from home and access it and we, we saw high levels of engagement and I just thought how good it was that it was like they had a teacher there with them they had uh, feedback if they got the question wrong they could obviously get in touch with their teachers um, over the internet if they needed extra help but they were able to have that instant feedback and to make progress at home as well we use LBQ in the class uh, our uh, assessment policy is about fast feedback and conferencing with the children one-to-one -one conferencing and with small groups so it's it's really good that I can call the children over or go to them I can instantly see where what mistakes they're making and I can put that right or I can stop the class and see what everybody's struggling with as a whole either as a group or the whole class and, and give them that feedback and input that they need so they can then carry on and, and make progress. Well it's something different I mean they're always keen to use the technology we're lucky that we've got lots of technology at Elm Park but uh, they're keen to get on with that and the engagement level is obviously a lot higher they'd never complain about doing an LBQ uh, when we pause it they they groan because they don't want to stop they want to keep going but the children say things like it's like I've got you sat next to me when I get it wrong um, I've got, uh, it doesn't matter how many times I have to try. It's something about it not being recorded for them. Uh, their mistakes seem to go when they, when they answer it again and get it correct. That's all that matters to them. But I'm getting the information that I need on the computer and stored for assessments and for planning in the future. Using learning by questions means that we've got instant access to a gap analysis, uh, which questions the children are finding difficult, which topics or learning intentions they're struggling with. We can instantly see uh, what misconceptions the children have and put that right quickly. Uh, we can call them over and, uh, and, and work with them. Also, it means in terms of planning, the questions are there, so we're not searching for resources. Those question sets are there, which we can tailor to what we've taught in particular to fit in with our curriculum and it gives us um, an overview of what the children are doing and what, what they need to do next. So using learning by questions means that I don't have to spend a lot of time planning uh, for which questions the children are going to answer because they're all there matched um, closely to the learning intentions and we can spend our time working with the children rather than marking and uh, looking for those gaps is presented there in front of us straight away. I love learning by questions. I use it a lot. I'm trying to use it more for other subjects as well. It's it's more at the moment it's 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 the, the quick feedback in terms of maths but we've started to use it to identify gaps and what we can do next uh, for reading and for now science and for spelling punctuation and grammar everything is is just there that you need to move on so learning by questions means that the children develop that resilience uh, they develop confidence to get things wrong to ask questions if they're stuck they get the opportunity to move on and go back um, to the questions that they've found tricky they can ask for teacher help or they can read through the feedback it's teaching them to really read the questions carefully so if they make a mistake because they've forgotten the units of measurement or they've forgotten the decimal point or they have spelt something incorrectly, helping them to be more accurate. One of the things I really like is that I can stop the questions if I can see that the class as a whole are finding it tricky. I can stop the, the question set and pause it. They have to have a look. I can annotate the question, um, draw um, helpful hints for the children or some feedback uh, or some clues. And then I can send that question out in ad hoc mode and the children can try that question there and then once I've given that feedback rather than coming to it later on in the question set. I can call children over, groups of children who are finding the same um, question difficult. I can call those over and, and have a little teaching session on the carpet at the whiteboard. One of the key features for me is the instant results page where you can see uh, the children answering the questions, what they're getting wrong, how they're retrying, and then whether they, they get it correct enough to move on to the next level with the reasoning and the problem solving. It's really handy because there's, there's no do the questions, mark the questions, and then find out what the children are finding difficult. It's there as soon as they've answered the question. So we can, we can 
move on with that really quickly. The ready to progress uh, question sets are really handy for the year six teachers, particularly at this time of the year, getting ready the, the children ready to go to secondary school. They can look back over what they've covered in the curriculum, not only in year six, but further down the school as well, and check that the children have got a, a good foundation ready to move on to the next key stage. If you took learning by questions away from me, you'd be sentencing me to more planning, more assessment, more entering data. I wouldn't be very happy. <laughs>